Okay, so I'm gonna talk you through this collar today. Um, now I've been using this collar for a very long time. Uh, I started about 17 years ago and I used to use a full check. Now the downside with using a full check is if it's used inappropriately or incorrectly, it can hurt the dog. One of the reasons I use this one is because it's foolproof. Now, when the collar chain section is at the top of the neck here, um, and you flick it, it can just tighten a little bit, but it catches the dog's attention. So when you hold the leash, you shouldn't hold it any more than with two fingers and a thumb. And with it being all collar underneath here, it prevents any harm coming to the dog's neck. And especially if you only flick it to catch the dog's attention, and most of what you do is with your body, you get to a point where you're not really using the leash much at all. It's just there for kind of safety and protection. Now, what I did learn the other day, uh, after 17 years, I have had one client who unfortunately fitted it the opposite of what I taught, at the bottom of the neck here, with the chain section uh, right underneath down here. Um, now, even if it was held with two things and a thumb, it still wouldn't be able to cause any damage. So I don't know exactly what they did, uh, but it rubbed away the dog's skin and they kept doing it repeatedly, repeatedly, uh, causing harm to the dog's neck. Um, so it proved that in a way, uh, this isn't foolproof. <laughs> um, so just make sure you fit it right at the top of the neck. The rule is two fingers should be able to fit under quite easily and three fingers should be a little bit too tight. Um, and that's as per the ROGS uh, video on their website. ROGS being the brand uh, of the collar and that's R-O-G-Z. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.